Lyme disease is a bacterial infection caused by the bacteria Borrelia burgdorferi. Lyme disease um, has um, several different stages, which makes it a unique infection because it has a first, second, and late or third stage of uh, disease, so that the illness looks different depending on which stage of the illness you're seeing. Lyme disease um, was discovered in Lyme, Connecticut. That's where the name comes from in the 1970s. Lyme disease is an expanding epidemic. It started in the three foci on the West Coast, the Great Lakes region, and New England. And the expansion over the last 40 years has been quite dramatic. And so the number of cases now of Lyme disease is estimated to be 300,000 new cases a year. The geographic range of Lyme disease is expanding uh, as well, and so it's no longer just New England. The expansion seems to be progressive year by year so that greater numbers of people, greater regions of the United States are exposed to Lyme disease every year. Lyme disease is what's called a vector-borne disease. That means that it's transmitted by um, a vector, and in this case, the vector is a tick. The other unique thing about Lyme disease is that the bacteria Borrelia burgdorferi is an obligate um, parasite of animals. What that means is the bacteria can't live in the environment. The bacteria doesn't live in water or air or soil like other bacteria. It must live in an animal. And in the case of the Lyme bacteria, the animal are small rodents, usually mice. So the reservoir or source of the infection is mice. Um, the vector are ticks and um, that transmission cycle is um, dependent on people living where there are ticks and mice. People always ask, well, what about the deer? What's the role of the deer in Lyme disease? And deer play an essential role to feed ticks. So ticks feed on deer just before they lay eggs. And so the deer act as a food source for the ticks. The deer don't actually carry the bacteria Borrelia burgdorferi. The bacteria is carried by mice. Patients should generally um, uh, get advice from their doctor under several circumstances. One is obviously if you have a suspicious round red skin lesion and you live in a Lyme endemic area and it's the Lyme endemic season, which is um, mostly in uh, late spring and early summer, if those uh, circumstances apply and you have a round red skin lesion, it's very important to go to your physician with that. If you can't get in immediately to get a picture of it in case it goes away, and that would prompt uh, urgent evaluation so we can treat Lyme disease in the first stage when it's most easily treatable. In the later stages, it's often much more insidious situation, and so uh, general advice would be, of course, to um, get medical advice if there's any serious symptoms, such as high fevers that don't go away, um, feelings as if you're gonna pass out, or symptoms such as a severe and unusual headache. Um, People can have viral infections that mimic Lyme disease, and so in general, a few days of symptoms, especially if it's a typical viral situation with a runny nose and prominent cough or a GI virus with prominent GI symptoms, it's fine if they're mild to wait those out for a few days and see if they go away. But if the kind of viral-like symptoms of, of achiness and fatigue linger for more than a week or two, that would be unusual with an uncomplicated viral infection, and that would be another circumstance to seek the advice of your physician. Mm -hmm.